Before we get started, when you open this video in the upper right hand corner of a cell phone, there's these dots. If you're on a computer, it's like a gearbox. Um, but if you tap those, you're going to see this where it says playback speed. So normal is 1.0. You can adjust the playback speed and that way you can get the same information uh, in less time. So the video will play faster and I might sound like a chipmunk, uh, but then if it's a 20 minute video, you can power through it and save yourself some time. Hope that helps. Hey, this is Awesome Arcade. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the different options that are available on this. This is my classic cocktail table. Before I dive into that though, I just want to address two of the most frequently asked questions that I get from customers. Uh, the first one would be, you know, what's different between your machine and maybe some of the other ones that I'm looking at online? And the second question would be, why should I buy from your company? Uh, and so I'm gonna take the second part of that first. And so with regard to why you should buy from my company, the one thing I can tell you is that I am gonna make sure that this machine is as good as I can possibly make it. And so when people go online and you're buying a product, I know that you can't go and look at this thing in person. I mean, unless you live close to me, you're looking at my website. And so I am trying to convince you to buy my product and you are trusting that I'm gonna provide you with a nice product without having the ability to see it. And so one of the best ways to check and see if a company is good is to go online and read their reviews. And so on the top of my website, I have linked my Google business page. I do have individual reviews for all the products on the website, but anytime a website posts their reviews, any company that owns a website, you know, the reviews get submitted to the website and then you have to approve or decline them. And you almost have to have that because I get so much spam just from random people selling Viagra and all kinds of weird comments. But if a company has the ability to modify their reviews, what's to say they're not deleting bad reviews? And I can't say for sure they're doing that, but the thing I like about Google business is that whatever reviews people post on Google, those are the actual reviews in the order that they were posted and they cannot be modified. And so on the top of my website, there's a link to my Google business page. I have 100% five-star reviews. And it's actually not easy to get people to leave good reviews. Usually people only leave reviews if they're upset. And so getting positive feedback from people is not as easy as you might think it is. Uh, but I just point people to those reviews because they're not just people putting stars. They're actually paragraphs from my customers that kind of write about their experience. And I take it really seriously. I know that there's a lot of other companies selling products that are similar, some are less expensive. And so the one thing that I have absolute control over in this world is how I treat my customers. And it's gonna start by being responsive. I mean, if you contact me, unless I'm sleeping, I'm gonna answer the phone. If for some weird reason I'm, I can't, like I'm at the dentist or maybe I'm on the other line, I'll text you back and let you know that I'm on the other line, but I will respond to you uh, usually immediately. The second thing I'm gonna do is uh, make sure that the machine is as nice as I can make it. And so the last thing I wanna do is ship that cabinet to you and you have an issue with it because I'm either gonna then have to pay somebody to fix it, I'm gonna to have to you know, send out a free replacement and pay for all the shipping or you're just gonna cancel the order and leave me a bad review. And so you know, one bad review could potentially cost my company tens of thousands of dollars in lost revenue and I'm totally aware of that. You know, when I go on an Amazon product, I look at the five-star reviews, but I go to the one-star reviews. I want to see, you know, what's the worst case scenario. And if it's the wrong kind of bad review, you know, the kind of review that says, hey, this machine broke and they won't return my calls, I just skip that product. And if I had that kind of review, I would never see the lost sales. It's not like you would buy and then cancel. You would just move on. And so I'm obsessed with making sure that never happens. And I will do everything in my power to make sure that you are totally happy. And so I contact you before the sale. I confirm all the information. Uh, I get a notification on my phone telling me when you're gonna deliver. As soon as your cabinet delivers, I'm gonna text you and ask you if you're happy. I'm gonna walk you through any setup questions you've got. Basically, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm available. Uh, and so I also put, my wife put that together there. It's just my family. Uh, but that's my phone number there. If you have any questions, you could always call me. You could FaceTime me, uh, but I am always gonna be available. And yeah. Okay, uh, let's tackle the second part of the question in part three. So the other question people ask is, what's different between your product and the other cocktail arcades that I see online? And so, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of companies that sell cocktail arcades. So it's, it's kind of tough for me to do a side-by-side -side comparison unless I know specifically which machine you're asking about. 
Uh, but some of the things that you can look for, first thing I would look at is, you know, how much does it weigh? Uh, some of them are built from particle board. And so this machine is built from MDF, which is uh, a material that's specifically used for arcade cabinets. Uh, this cabinet is 120 pounds off the pallet, you know, so it is like a piece of furniture. Uh, one thing I would ask, uh, I'd look at the price, you know, you have to assume that most businesses are operating on you know, kind of comparable profit margins. And so if there's a company that's selling their machine for half the price of what other companies are selling their machines for, it's probably safe to assume that it costs less money to build. You want to make sure they're using plexiglass, excuse me, not using plexiglass. This is uh, tempered glass. It's five sixteenths of an inch thick. Uh, but you know, let's assume that you're looking at another company. You've narrowed it down. They've got uh, a cabinet that has the right weight and it's kind of at the right, right price point. It's got, you know, similar joysticks and buttons. Uh, it really just comes down to, you know, aesthetics. Like how does it look? And then what type of service level, uh, what level of service are you gonna receive from the company? And so when it comes to the service level, I, I promise you, uh, they can try to match me, but they will not be able to beat me. Uh, I'm just gonna jump through any hoop that's in front of me and make sure that you're completely happy. I always do that with all my customers. And I'd like to say that I just do that because uh, I'm a wonderful person and maybe that's true, but at the end of the day, you know, I have a family and three kids and they need to eat. And so I need my business to be successful. And I know that it's not going to happen if I have bad reviews. And so to the extent that it is humanly possible, I will do everything I can to make sure that you're satisfied with your purchase. Okay, let's get into the details about what this guy can do. So I have three levels or tiers of cocktail table. You've got this, the classic cocktail. The next one up is called the deluxe. And then of course there's this one, which is the three-sided cocktail called the ultimate. The standard and the deluxe play the exact same two different game boards, which I'll be telling you about in a second. The only difference between them is the size of the cabinet and the size of the monitors. And so on the website, you can see here, this is what the deluxe looks like. So the deluxe has a 24 inch monitor it comes with trackballs on both sides. Uh, it weighs about 50 pounds more, and it's about 30% bigger by volume. And so the dimensions uh, are on the bottom of the website for any of the products. But just know that uh, they play the same games. The Deluxe has the trackballs and the uh, stereo amplifier and additional sound speakers included. This one has been modified with the additional trackball. So the standard cocktail does not come with the trackball. That is an option during checkout. So just know that whenever you see a machine that has the trackballs on the cabinet, it does have a stereo amplifier and additional speakers. So on this standard, the trackball is an option that's uh, available during checkout. It's not included in the base price. On the Deluxe, which is this guy here, the trackballs are already included. So there is no option without trackballs for the Deluxe. 24 inch LED monitor, wide viewing angle screen versus 19 inch on the standard. So one of the best ways to see what the different options on this product are, are to try to add it to the shopping cart of the website. And so when you do that, you're gonna to have to answer yes or no to every possible option or upgrade. Uh, but basically it's cabinet color. You've got black, cherry, and walnut. This particular machine here is shown with a trackball upgrade. So this is my cabinet. You'll notice the control panel on this cabinet is shorter. And so this one has been stretched out basically to accommodate the insertion of a trackball. That's an option that's available during checkout. It's got black trim. That's a cabinet that's got yellow trim. And so that is an option during checkout. The machine right now has joysticks that go up, down, left, right. They're called four direction joysticks. So there's two different game board, game board package options available for this cabinet. One has 60 games. The other one is 412 games. So if you're looking at the 60 game board, you only need joysticks that go four directions. If you're gonna get the 412 board, the bigger board, that board requires diagonal movement. And so during checkout, there's an option to add eight direction joysticks, they're black. And so you don't need the eight direction if you're only getting the 60, but if you think you might get the 412 uh, or you're definitely getting the 412, you'd wanna get the eight direction joysticks. On the top of the cabinet, there's different options. This is my favorite one. This is called the Awesome Top. You just kinda of see what that looks like. If you didn't wanna get that one, I've got this one, it says Arcade. Obviously it looks like a, a Pac-Man type font. This is a Galaga type font. If you don't want anything, on the reverse side of these things, uh, let me show you this guy. So underneath the glass, so on the top of the cabinet, there's a piece of clear tempered glass. Each piece of glass is held in place by these clips. On the bottom of each clip, there's two Phillips screws. I don't know how you can see that. 
Uh, but underneath that is this guy here. And that just floats under there. It's not taped down. One side of it is solid black. So if you didn't want anything, we can just take and install it that way. Set the glass back on top of it. Now, if you wanted to get something different, there's a website linked in the product description on my website uh, for a company called Game On Graphics. Just talk to Scott, the owner. He's got all the templates for the different size cabinets. So if you just told him, hey, I bought you know, the cocktail uh, with the trackball option, he'll know what size it is. And then if you wanted to get one that says Pac-Man or Frogger or Donkey Kong. Now, I can't ship anything out of my warehouse that has images for companies that I don't own. If you wanted to get like your business name, your family crest, you wanted to do something custom for your daughter's birthday, those are things I can do and I can install. Um, but if you wanted to get the Pac-Man or something like that, you would order that from Game On Graphics. He would ship it to your house. But to switch it, it's literally, you pull these clips off, this piece of glass just lifts off. And then you slide this out from underneath, slide the new one in place, set the glass on, put the clips back. Uh, it's definitely not hard to do, uh, but that is an option. One thing I should point out, this cabinet is sitting on some crates that I bought. Those are milk crates. Basically, I just put all four of them together. I drilled a bunch of holes inside and with some zip ties. Also, that piece of plywood ships on top of the cabinet. So when you get it, you're going to have that little piece of plywood that I've actually trimmed down so that it's square. Um, but I do like standing when I play the cocktails, so that's kind of a cool feature. And so regarding the two different game boards, so the 60 game board has 60 games. The 412 board has 412 games. So the 60 game board, this is what the interface looks like. And so you just see that it has uh, 10 pages of 10 games. So page one of 10, you know, two of 10, all the way up to 10 of 10 for a grand total of 60. When you enter a game, it does fill up the full screen. So let me just show you what that looks like. Now, once you enter a game, the only way to leave that game is to die as many times as you have lives. Okay, now if you choose player, two players, it does flip from this side over to this side, and it does go back and forth. You basically just alternate turns until the game is done. And so the advertisers for this board, so this board is $40 on Amazon. You'll notice most companies, uh, not most, I think every company, if you go on their website, they're all selling the, the machines that have the same number of games. The reason for that is because there's really two game boards that are available for this product, and it's the 60 board and the 412 board. Those are the only two multi-game boards that you can get that play what are called vertical games. So there's two terminologies that you'll see on the website uh, for types of arcade games. They're called vertical games, which play up and down, and then horizontal games, which play side to side. A lot of people hear vertical and horizontal, and they think that it refers to either you know a sit-down game or a stand-up game. What it really refers to is a horizontal just means the monitor is installed in landscape. So if you took your TV and you put it down flat in the cabinet this way, that would be a horizontal configuration. This TV has actually been turned into portrait or sideways. So if you watched a movie on this cabinet, you'd have to watch it from this side. Uh, so this is a portrait install that plays classic vertical games. And so what companies are doing is they're buying this 60 game board for $40 off of Amazon and sticking it in the cabinet. The advertisers of the 60 game board, it's a little misleading because they will tell you that this board saves high scores and it sort of saves high scores. Uh, it saves the top high score, but it doesn't save the initials and it only saves the top score. And so if you ask me, that's pretty misleading. I mean, if I buy a board and they tell me that it saves high scores, I'm going to be expecting it to save scores in the traditional sense. I would expect it to save the initials and the score and all the scores. Uh, but that's not what this one does. And trust me when I say uh, that's the only option for this board. And so if some other company is telling you that the 60 game board saves initials, uh, it does in exactly the way I just described. It saves the top score, it doesn't save any other scores, and it doesn't save initials. Uh, the other thing about this board is that when you enter a game, when you're done, it'll automatically take you back to the menu, and then you just go and choose the next game, okay? On one of the other boards that I'm going to explain to you, it is a little bit different. So this is the 60 game board. And again, this machine requires a four direction joystick, which the cabinet is already set up for. Uh, and then this machine obviously is set up for the trackballs. The next board that I'm going to tell you about is called the 412 game board. So this is the 412 game board. And again, remember that the title of the board is the number of games that are on the board. I should mention both of these boards have a free play setting. 
And so you don't have to use coins if you don't want to. It does have a functional coin mechanism, but you'll never have to use it if you don't want to. And so the 412 board, uh, about 25% of the games on this board required diagonal movement. And so during checkout, there's an option to add eight-way joysticks. You don't have to get them, but if you don't, you're not going to be able to do diagonal movement, which will you will need on uh, some of the games, games like Contra. And so the menu screen on the 412 board basically shows you a list of the games. It'll show you a preview of what each game looks like. This just tells you how to navigate the menu screen. And then when you do choose a game, it will fill up the full screen. And so if you press down on the joystick, it scrolls one game at a time. If you press right on the joystick, it'll scroll one page at a time. And if you hold right, it'll rapid scroll. And so I have had people, you know, kind of concerned that it's going to take a long time to go from number game number one to game number 412. But as you can see, it is really fast. And so I'm going to load up my favorite game here, which is Donkey Kong, and just kind of show you what that looks like. And so once you find the game that you're interested in playing, you just press the start button. And so once you're in a game, again, on the 60 board, once you're done, once you've exhausted all your lives, it's going to automatically remove you from that game and take you back to the menu screen. On the 412 board, it's a little bit different. So once you enter a game, the machine is going to become that game, and it's going to remain in that game until you manually leave the game. And the way that you manually leave the game is you press and hold down the one player start button for about five seconds. Doing that is like hitting Control alt delete on your computer. And so again, I just pressed and held down the one player start button. That window pops up. Now the cool thing about this board is that you'll notice that it's frozen the gameplay. So it effectively acts as a pause button. So you could pause it and continue and go back in and keep playing, or you could exit out in the middle of play. One thing that I think is pretty cool. And so this 412 board was also bought on Amazon. This one was 95 bucks. And uh, oh, one thing I wanted to show you, if you ever needed to get inside, uh, a lot of times when you sell these to like bars and restaurants, people love to spill beer on these. I don't know how they do it because it's got a guard up here, but if that ever happens, if you ever needed to access this, inside the cabinet, and I'll show you more about this in another video, but there's these two little bolts. I don't know how well you can see these. Let me focus this guy here. And so on this side, I've just went ahead and removed them. It's a little dark, but basically, if you ever need to access this, this is how you get inside. You drop these down. That's the inside of your joystick. This is your trackball. It's basically just four bolts, and then there's two like USB plugs that go into it. And these are the buttons. So that is how you access it. And that is the 412 game board. Okay, uh, I'm going to close this up with one more piece of information. We'll take it from there. So this is what the two game boards look like. That's the 412 board, that's the 60 board. I know they look different. The only real difference is that the 412 board comes with a case. Let's see, it just looks like a Nintendo game. I don't know if you remember, but uh, sometimes Nintendo cartridges would not work and you'd have to kind of blow inside and then you'd see these teeth inside. That's basically what that is. Uh, you'll notice the 60 board, it's got the same teeth. It just doesn't have a plastic case on it. And so this is the 60 board you can see on Amazon. And this is the, where we got here? That is the 412 board. You can see that one is $99. So last thing I'll close with, when you get the machine, there's gonna be a power cord and two keys zip tied to one of the joysticks. Using the key on the front of the cabinet, there's this coin door. So there's the key. You're gonna open the door, you put your hand inside the cabinet, and then there's two little latches here. Okay, if you pop those latches, that's how you lift up the lid. Inside, you're gonna see this thing. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and show you what that looks like. So this is called the JAMA harness. This is the 60 board, this is the 412 board. On the bottom of the harness, you see this little black line. On the boards, you'll notice that they both have got these teeth. So you're gonna match up this notch with this black line. So in order to plug that board in, you're gonna take that and you're gonna press it down like that. The only other thing you've got is the monitor cable. And so, that's how you plug the board in. The reason I'm showing you that, uh, I'm assuming you've seen it on the website yet, but if you haven't, I don't include these. Okay, these boards I bought on Amazon Prime with one or two day shipping. Again, that one was 40 bucks. That one was 100 bucks. If I buy these boards, okay, if I go on Amazon, 
and I buy this and it shows up to my house in a box and I open the lid of my cabinet and I do that, it's gonna add $500 to the cost. $500 for that one, $700 for that one. Okay, to me, it just doesn't really seem worth it. And I know there's other companies that'll buy the boards and put them in for you. Uh, I wanna sell my cabinets for $9.95, not $14.95 or $17.95, okay? I'm gonna sell more cabinets by allowing you to buy your own game board for $40 or $95 or $100 off of Amazon. You know, you can see here, this is the, my cabinet that I used to sell. And you can see with the 60 game boards, it was $14.95, that's before shipping. So it used to be $7.20, $17.20 with the 60 game board. Uh, and so for now, it is significantly less than that. And so let me just show you on the machine what that looks like. And so again, you've got this guy. Grab my little flashlight here. And so you get it, you open up the lid. There's that little harness I was telling you about. Here's your board. Again, you've got a black line on the bottom. You're gonna mash that up with that notch. It's good to go. Then you're gonna take your monitor cable. Now, these other little guys here are for the trackball. So if you got the cabinet that does have the trackball option, this black one is for the 412 board. It just has one. These two white ones are for the 60 board and they're for the one and two player side and they're labeled. On the face of the board, there's a little spot that says player one and player two. So to plug in player one and to plug in player two. So that's how you plug in the trackballs. Um, but that's pretty much it. Close the door, turn off the flashlight. And so right now the 60 game board is loading up. It takes about 60 seconds. Uh, but both the boards plug in the exact same way. Again, the only difference is that the trackball plug-in for the 412 board uh, is a black port, it's a single, and then for the 60 game board, it is two ports. Both of these boards are linked in the product description, so you just click the link. There's only one company that makes the boards, uh, and so there's no way you could buy the wrong one. If it says 60 game JAMA board, that's the right board. And so here's the games. If you have any questions, let me know.